Yo, hello everybody, I'm Nubra Fruit, and in this video we're gonna be checking out the new Valorant Evolution Battle Pass. Basically, this is Valorant Episode 7, Act 1. This act is finally here, and we finally have a new battle pass. So we're gonna go through it one by one. So as usual, the battle pass is uh, uh like is divided into three main skin lines. The first skin line is gonna be the blush skin line, as you can see. So uh like 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 always, like the first two skin lines are kinda kinda meh, they're kinda like weak colors of the uh, of the of the weapon, so they're not really that exciting. And the third skin line is always the best so we'll go through them like i said so the first one is going to be like the blush uh um guardian <laughs> so basically you get yourself a blush effect and i i'm pretty sure these wiggly lines right here move but uh, don't quote me on that because i can always be wrong and then we have the blush up as you can see right there pretty like nice detail and not, it's not really that bad of a skin next we have the blush specter and then we have the blush frenzy so basically it's just a recolor of the same skins. And then of course we're gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna be the Digihex skin line. So the Digihex skin line is gonna be for the uh, for the ghost, the judge, the heiress, and the bulldog. And it's gonna have four variants. So we have the pink variant right here. And uh, this one kind of it's kind of futuristic. It's even better than the last one. So you get like these squiggly lines all around. You get like a very futuristic like look. It's pretty clean. It's not really that bad. We got like this little uh, icon thingy. I, I don't know what it means, but <laughs> it's just an icon there. Makes the gun look cooler. So we have the pink variety. We have the red variety, which is uh, like the best one. I think this is it's the red one and the last one. So this is the red one right here. So that's for the uh, for the uh, for the ghost. We have the judge right here, the heiress, and the bulldog. Then we have the yellow one. I'm just gonna call it the yellow one because it's not really gold. The next one is gold. This one is just uh, yellow green, I guess. But if you're a fan of this like color scheme, then you probably like this uh, 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 like uh, this variant. And finally, we have the best one in my opinion, which is the gold variety. So you get like a gold uh, version of it with black and red all around. It's 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 sick. It's sick. It's kind of sexy <laughs> to be honest. Like for a gun, it's it's beautiful. It looks like very prestige, right? If there was if there was ever like a prestige skin in uh, in Valorant, I think this would make it like oh yeah. <laughs> And next, finally, we have the composite uh, skin line. So this is the composite skin line, as you can see. Now, this uh, is not a reskin. This is like the best they can offer you in the battle pass. I mean, I gotta say this like uh, this composite uh, variant is really, really worth it. In my opinion, it's very clean, very slick. So it's very well made very attention like there's a lot of attention to details and yeah so this one is for the uh for the specter i believe next one we have for the phantom and yeah it's just looks it looks awesome man it's a futuristic gun it's no longer like the the standard phantom we got like a real really cool like changes in the gun itself so that's the phantom right there next we have the marshall also very cutting edge very futuristic i really really like the design of it like if this was like a separate skin like a bundle i would have probably bought it to be honest and then finally we have the sheriff so it's always good to have a nice sheriff skin uh, like my myself right now I, I don't even have a good sheriff skin i just have a default uh regular <laughs> skin that i don't really like so i might even like opt, opt for this man just it's very cool and then finally of course the uh final reward in the battle pass is the uh gun or not the gun the melee sorry so the melee is called the composite melee and it's kind of a kind of a butterfly knife but i want i don't really want to say that that's just a standard <laughs> like a uh, twisted knife so really don't expect a lot from it but it looks cool it goes with the it goes with the um uh, with the composite uh composite um skin line so if you if this is like your first battle pass you're buying and you want like a full uh a full like uh, roster of skins this this is like one of the best uh knives i've ever had to be honest so yeah i highly recommend it this is what it looks like right here uh if i get my hands on some like uh, animations for it i'll upload the video on it and uh, we'll discuss it more of course uh but yeah but this is like what it looks like this is what you can expect it got, it's got a little bit of an, a butterfly animation but other than that i really didn't see anything uh special about it just you know to be honest and next we have the player cards of course so every battle pass is gonna have player cards gun buddies and sprays so uh yeah let's go through them so the first player card is gonna be cypher right here i guess this is <laughs> because people are uh, are gonna be playing deadlock the new agent a lot so i don't see people playing cypher at all because his wires are, are now useless we have the new sonic sensor everything else is just better at that uh, in deadlock right and even killjoy is gonna be like eh, well maybe killjoy is, uh, she still has uh, her old and her turret so that she's useful so we have the killjoy uh, uh player card right here we have uh, more like uh, this is the boombot <laughs> the boombot uh player card and next we have phoenix getting a haircut yo this is nice this is really really nice i like this i like this a lot all right <laughs> and next we have a what a warning sign i guess i don't know what this means man but yeah it's just a random warning sign maybe it means something let me know if you know next we have a uh, a nice hollywood looking 
place with 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 like a well, with a base on top of the mountain. And next we have a some army like some armies like uh, army soldiers are like on tanks. And next we have the uh, the raise player card, which is she's having fun like in her own in her own hometown. And then we have this one. Now this one could be a uh, like uh, a teaser for the next uh, for the next agent, uh, because in each battle pass they include one player card that teases the next agent. But they usually they're kind of like coy about it. Like they they just leave a symbol or a number. They don't really show the agent itself and i don't know <laughs> i don't know about this man i hope this is the agent i really do but uh, i don't know but well, this is the first time like they show the entire thing so yeah we'll see next we have a disc looking thingy i don't know what that is we have the vct like uh <laughs> like player base right here we have the taxi friends of course crossing the crossing the uh the roads of taxi friends if you don't know they're kind of the official mascots of valorant so yeah we have the normal variety and the golden variety of it so those are the player cards right there next we have the gun buddies as you can see so the first one is a golden penguin in a ramen bowl next one is the disc again you can still see it we have the tank the golden tank we have this one is for uh this one i'm pretty sure it's for the new deadlock agent we got like uh, the same like color scheme of her next we have the of course the uh usual standard episode 7 gum buddy next we have a cypher <laughs> this is cypher right yeah it's cypher made out of, out of like wool or i don't know what this is but yeah so this is like a little soft gun buddy that you can have of cypher we have another uh tacti friend inside of a bowl and this one is pink so I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is in the middle of the battle pass and this one is at the end of the battle pass next one we have a dog a robo dog thingy <laughs> as a gun buddy next we have a ramen uh, cup and finally we have what the hell is this man okay I, I don't know how to i really couldn't tell you if i if i wanted to i don't know what the hell is this let me know if you do <laughs> i really have no idea i can't even begin to describe it man so yeah that's the gun buddies right there and next finally we have the sprays as you can see so the sprays are, the sprays are always the uh the most fun part of the uh of the battle pass so we have a cat peeking out of a box or well if, if i fit i sit <laughs> alex we have sage diffusing the bomb and kind of not liking it or afraid and then we have the same tank like the golden tank from the from the player card then we have cypher who is looking calm and collected but he's uh kind of panicking on the inside and then we have a uh, sage being yelled at by i don't know who this is i guess her oh okay maybe her evil self this looks like sage right yeah i'm pretty sure that is and then we have the www okay i, I like this i like this a lot it's when you want to tell your team that you uh, just push man just be be aggressive all your keys are w just w and push man just go forward i really like it <laughs> and next we have a uh <laughs> I, I, oh, I love this man we have jet lost in three types of smokes and she's kind of like where the hell am i and where am i supposed to go she's wearing like explorer uh outfit with with a map i really like that then we have a potion love a love heart potion okay a love flask i don't know i don't know why this is here but it is here maybe it's for valentine i don't know next we have a confused killjoy and next we have <laughs> your teammates each asking for a weapon of course we have brimstone asking for an odin we have phoenix <laughs> asking for a vandal and jet of course always always asking for an op even when she doesn't earn it even when she dies with it she's always going to ask for the op we have another spray for deadlock right here and i'm pretty sure this is, this is for deadlock or either the next agent of course it depends and then we have i don't know what this is i guess no no money no no honey i, I don't know man <laughs> and for the final three sprays we have a very excited breach with an explosion behind him we have some pancakes next to I don't know what okay okay ah, okay i guess it's a spike site <laughs> so with pancakes in the middle i don't know why and finally we have a vinyl recorder i, I don't know what these are called exactly but i'm pretty sure that it's like a vinyl recorder vinyl, vinyl player maybe yeah probably so yeah that is the entire battle pass as you can see we got the sprays the gun buddies the player cards the skin lines of course we have the composite melee we have the composite skin line right here we have the uh the digi hex uh, skin line and finally the blush skin line so if i had to rate it as a battle pass it's probably a 7 out of 10 this is bad this is bad this is really good this is really really good as well and of course the player cards and everything those are just bonuses and by far the um the sprays are, are just the best part of the battle pass but for me honestly of course uh but yeah that is pretty much it uh, i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye